Hello everyone. Uh, in this video we're going to get a little bit more in depth as to what chemistry is. In the last videos that you probably saw, I spoke about the significant figures and how to convert. Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about matter and its physical properties. But before I do that, um, I want to talk about what chemistry is. So chemistry is simply the study of matter and what you want to learn in chemistry is how matter changes and how matter interacts with other matter so that you can have everything that you see. So matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. So if you look around uh, wherever it is that you are, if you're in school or in your room or in a friend's house, you may notice that there's a desk. You may notice uh, a pencil, a book bag, uh, maybe a car or a bus. All of those things are examples of matter. So anything in the world that can take up space, you are an example of matter because you're taking up space and you have mass. And mass is the amount of matter that an object has. Your mass never changes. So you could be on Earth, you can be on the moon, or you could be in Mars and you're still going to have the same amount of mass. This is not going to change. Okay, so now we're going to get into uh, the states of matter. Matter actually has, uh, well, matter actually has four states, but we're only going to talk about three of them: uh, the solid, the liquid, and the gas. The fourth state is plasma. We're not going to get into that. Okay, so uh, here I drew a little picture of an ice cube, and if you get this ice cube and you heat it up the ice cube is going to start to melt and it's going to actually turn into water and if you add a little bit of more heat the water is actually going to vaporize, vaporize and turn into uh, what you call water vapor so right here you have an example of the three states of matter uh, the ice cube is an example of the solid state of matter the solid state of matter is pretty much where everything is just put together and condensed in the solid state, uh, you have a definite shape and volume. What this means is that if I were to get this ice cube and put it inside a container, the ice cube is not going to change its shape into the form of the container. It's just going to stay the way that it is. Um, then we have water, which is an example of a liquid. And water, um, well, not water, any liquid actually is supposed to flow by definition. And if I were to place liquid inside a container, the liquid would actually take the shape of the container. So if the container is rectangular, you're going to see the liquid kind of in a rectangular shape. And if the shape is circular or spherical, then the liquid would actually look kind of spherical. So it takes the shape of the container, it has a fixed volume, and it flows. All right. And then the, the third state is the gas state. Uh, gases actually take the shape and the volume of the container so it, it doesn't matter what container you put the gas in the gas is going to spread out and it's going to take the shape of the entire container okay so these uh, types of changes that you see when we go from the, the solid the liquid and the gas these are examples of what you call a physical change it, we, we call it a physical change because nothing is really changing as far as to the composition of the compound. And what that means is that um, ice is water, water is water, and water vapor is water. They are all made up of H2O, which is the molecular formula for water. It's still the same thing. So that's what that's why we mean by a physical change. They can change physically, but it's still the same compound. And right here, I'm going to provide you with some examples of, of physical changes. Um, if you see the word cutting, anything that has to do with cutting, like uh, if you cut a piece of paper, that's an example of a uh, physical change because it's not like the paper is going to turn into something else. It's not going to turn into a computer. It's still a paper. So that's an example. Another example is the bending of a straw. If you bend a straw, it's still going to be a straw. Again, it's not going to change into something else. It's still a straw. If you melt an ice cube, you're going to get water. And again, water is pretty much the same thing as ice. 
it's just that water is in its uh, liquid state. Breaking a glass cup, so if I get a, a glass of water and I just throw it at the floor and I break the cup, it's still a cup, it's just broken. Uh, and if you, I know this sounds kind of mean, but if you crush a cockroach, you know, although it, it looks weird when you crush it, it's still a roach, it hasn't changed its composition. And uh, another example is splitting a sandwich. If you split a sandwich with a friend, you still have a sandwich. So these are all examples of physical uh, changes.